it should not. Exactly, it, it but should it not. still is. It, it still should is not. Though. The bottom line is, it's illegal. Yes, there should be like proper regulation. We can change it. If things that were illegal in the past will remain illegal forever, our country wouldn't get anywhere. And it's if time things... for change. Hi, I'm Monica. I'm an IT student. So, hi there. My name is Abhinav Singh Thapa. I'm a law student. It's high time we discuss about this. Let's be blunt, legalize weed. And I get that this is a joint discussion, but I'd rather hit the high road than get high. So let's begin with it. See, I'll be honest, I'll be honest, I'll, I'll get right into it, okay? I think Nepal really needs weed to be legal because our people need it. There's so many reasons. Do you think that, you know, if weed was legal, I think it will create lesser problems. It'll help our tourism, it'll help our economy, it'll help our people. Also, just, let's be honest, entertainment. See, it's a very broad spectrum. Mm -hmm. First off, it's illegal for a reason. And followed up by the fact that just saying vague words with like tourism, economy, it's an entertainment, that's not a metric by which you can legalize substances that are harmful, right? I think you're sta saying that, you know, oh, we can't legalize it because of this and that. But let's be honest, there are other substances that are legal and they could be way worse. Like alcoholism, right? Alcohol is legal, right? There are cigarettes that are legal. And if we can legalize alcohol and cigarettes, and you know, there can be kids who are like, you can't eat a child, you can't eat a cigarette, you can't eat a That's because in our country, regulations are not applied, right? And I get it, I get it. Tara, Tara, Nepal is only regulating the government, but it's regulating the government. And you think that this is a new thing, which is already illegal, which is in the control, which is in the control, which is legal, which is in the market, which is in the market. What's to stop children from smoking it? Mm -hmm. Why not? It's illegal. It's transport, growing, every part of it is controlled. Right? So, why not the problem? Why not legalize it? We don't legalize it, but our country is a whole demographic which is on the poorer side. They would thrive on this. Like, right? Whether it be the poor people or the rich people. But, you know, this is an economically you know, stable situation. Mm -hmm. you know, this would be a really good source of income. If weed is legal, they can harvest it, they can, you know, try and export it, they can mm. establish themselves as an entity, just like this country, what is it? Nepal is a country, it is not limited, it is not constrained. You have to pay sugar as a cash crop, in which you have to pay for your work, they didn't get paid for their work. Even, even if you go for like, we have daily food, agricultural products, milk, that's why people don't, and you think people will make an exception for weed, or like, you know, Gaza is like, you have to keep a threshold, you have to mitigate it, and you have to mitigate it, and you have to mitigate agricultural rights for poor people. Let's be honest, let's be honest. Oily weed is legal, but it's not like weed is not legal. If you have to go to your room, you have to go to your room, if that is legal, it's not legal, but at least in our country, those people who have to cultivate it, they have to free them, they have to free them, they have to free them, because they have to sell them, harvesting is illegal, so they can't do that, so when they just give it for free, that is causing harvesting them. illegal harvesting it in a personal level and selling it in the market is there are reg regional exemptions to it mm -hmm. because it's an addictive substance and it is control yes, no sure alcohol is not addictive are you and it is and it is this like again uh -huh. cultural specific reasons go karan of the West role, ma, yeah. bar bar sa, na. Tara, it was allowed, it was permitted, and it is strictly regulated. Mostly because of import duties, tara, at least thought it was allowed. Gaza is a lifestyle between like rich people. Okay, let's be honest. You can't tell me that they are not like rich politicians not doing weed. Tara, te huno na te, te huno because it's an illegal... Tara, uh, yeah. So let's, let's capitalize on it. Okay? That's like saying murder by Rakusa, murder properly regulated Gorna Saki Rakusa, murder la permit Gordim. What's our access by Rasa? What's our like Kinadimna, the Kyun Sata Bonito in under tobacco versus weed monkey mm -hmm. difference on the Manahed is tobacco is already a pretty well established industry. What's our got it on? So they're smoking, mm -hmm. right? You also realize that these, these same kids they're also doing weed, it's just that they're hiding it, they're doing it in a much unsafe manner, okay? Oh, but yeah, you could have legalized boy, but what happens is there's at least some level of education, there's some level of control, okay? You cannot completely ban anything, okay? there's no blanket solution to these problems. But some sort of regulation is better than no regulation. Even there is regulation. I, I don't think there it's being is, implemented though. There is a very strict regulation for consumption, ko lagi tha, transport, ko lagi tha, possession. Ko baare Tell me about it. Right? So, narcotics, ko anusar, uh -huh. obviously, it's illegal. Mm -hmm. right? But in Nepal, ma, Nepal ko lagi baane, ra, cultural reasons. Ta, mm -hmm. Ved maapan, it's one of the most important yes. plants and whatnot. So, there is a cultural exemption. Se diyo. Mm -hmm. ko, amra, Poshupati area, ma, it's allowed for a specific time of the year. Shivaratri ko bela. Yeah. Ma. Te, anusar, 
हमरो कोर्नाली प्रदेश में इफ इट्स ग्रोन नेचुरली विथ गवर्नमेंट परमिशन यू कैन एक्सेस यू कैन हार्वेस्ट इट उमाना पायो चौरस बनाना पायो हर शीश बनाना पायो यू कैन एक्सपोर्ट इट एस वेल नेपाल एक्सपोर्ट नहीं कर सकते अन तीस तो हल्को कुरा मा देर आर रेगुलेशंस इट्स इलीगल फॉर अ रीजन because it's addictive and this like withhold garna ko lagi chai tyo illegal bhake ramro bhanchu ma kati jana ko livelihood tesma chaina pani etik hunna ta sakcha nta you do realize hamro government hamro economy would prosper so much ke it takes not just from the export matra hai na ke tourism ko sector bada pani let's be honest like thailand is a country sir it's very popular because there it's something that's an attraction wheat right nepal ma we already have nature that's like giving us such beautiful places just like our tourists already coming in mm. you know how we can in- increase that if we legalize weed thailand ko tourism is built on entertainment right it's built on red light districts it's built on drugs it's built on alcohol binging and a very thriving nightlife jun nepal ma ni implement garna milche hola tara hamle ke kura pani bujhnu parcha andha nepali ko perspective bada chai bhutan is a country like us it's naturally endowed that tya ko tourism is better regulated ho nepal ma body tourism aunda heri body economy ma u huncha tara you also need to look at what type of tourist you want in what type of activities you want to any encourage adventure activities ha huh? again trekking to sada sada we doesn't need to be an additional attraction maje ke bancho bhanda heri that's not a part of an economy that we should be fostering or we should be catering to we should be heading towards more than any like bhutan style tourism okay where we look for higher value yield from tourists just because a person comes to our country doesn't mean that it is a is it's an economic boon all of all these scopes that we have right now mm. I don't really see our government doing any of them. It's Ani. not getting implemented. But the thing is, if we legalize weed, there there's so little we have to do for so much gain. Okay. Unsa ni like thimli legalize gani bithe ka aza ko bolli ni change unsa mani hoda. Na manse aunsa or manse ayo bande ma apni economic yield aunsa the poor people will get to enjoy the benefits of it bande. Tisu kuni bhi threshold hai sahi na ke. There's this part with our past that makes it extremely attractive, like the freak street ko visions, right? But at the same time, you also need to recognize that it was a gateway drug. Bane ko who hashish paun thiyo, ter ter ta heroin ni paun thiyo bana. Bujhe, it's called freak street for a reason. People were doing drugs alongside weed, and it created an environment where runtani the people who were coming in, the tourists who were coming in, the pure hippie trail wala kura, the locals weren't happy with it. Yes, the shop owners probably were. But at the same time, the community that it impacted, it was banned for a specific reason. What's happening right now? Is this poor people are poor, but the rich people are still doing weed. You legalize it, at least these poor people will have some level of benefit, Nita. But at the end of the day, our government hasn't been able to completely stop this. Maltesma bani kura bani ko. Okay, rich people smoke weed. No, to say I don't really think so. Nepal ko unsani social reality ma chay. I think it's a common drug one. Oh my na, mostly because of how available it is, and just ma chay government ko also body focus hone chay. Parne ho. That just because it's ill regulated or ramri heri ra ko chay na ramro boydani group ma kanun cha. इम्प्लिमेंट भाग भट सुड बी लिगलाइज भंसर होना भाई दोसों जस्ट बिकज अब गरीब मानी गाँजा रोप्य रे गाँजा उमर रे तर तो उमारे भन्दे में उन्नी बजारसम पुराने तो होते हैं मिडलमैन आँच है तेजी द पीपल हुआ ग्रोइंग इट नेवर रियलाइज दर प्रफिट्स हो घोड़ा लगाम लगा ए गाँजा लिगलाइज कर दे उसे गाँजा रोप्स गाँजा किन्ने मैं भैया उसे पैसा पाँच ऊ धनी होने के कहीं चलते हैं पेल कुछ तो पशी को रेगुलेसन वाला पार्ट अज डिफिकल्ट हो तर तो गरीब मैं होवकाश होता उस इकोनमिकली उस सजी होने is really really beneficial to our country weed in the hands of people who will misuse it is bad and that's where regulation should come in okay this regulation is not letting us prosper in any way at all but if you're going to take talk about regulating it you can regulate it in a way where it benefits the people pani ni ta trolling ani aile ko law le pani tei ta gar rakha chha ni jasko lagi culturally jasko lagi economically ekdam important thyo bani ko madhya pashchim tira ko manche har karnali ani aile ko lumbini ko certain districts haina teta pahad ma naturally grow hune they can use it they make clothes out of it hemp aune major region tei nai ho tesele unni har ko lai ta tyo chha ta ani they are realizing it stop it just that ke why stop it just that unni har ko lagi because unni har ko lagi it is the place where our economy booms ke Why not bring it to the center? Help all the people. All Tara, around, okay, let me take the argument flip. Go ahead. So, suppose man says, "Hemp, Kathmandu may grow in Thalere." What about the people in Madhya Pradesh? I'm not telling you to grow it in Kathmandu. I'm telling you to create a system where we can regulate it and sell it within the capital in a way where it. At the end of the day, benefits those people, nahi ki. It does benefit them because they are getting to access those resources. No one's stopping them from accessing it. Just after the khedma log on a pay, na June Nepali hale pray log on the nanpani. Nepal ma cash crops pani ko ekdamai tarai region ma specific regions ma yes. But at the same time, 
most of Nepali agriculture is subsistence agriculture. Ritisma ban, you know, you can't go introduce cash crops. Ke. Because this is the market transit sign. It's the economic reality. And then, the Gaza is the law. Exactly. They are locking us. Like, if people want to, you know, harvest it, if they want to plant it, grow it, sell it, earn from it, let them do it at a regulated manner. Oil regulation is stopping it in a way where it will stop. The resources, the economy, we use it to regulate it in a way where we can legally sell these things. That's right, logically. In Nepal, there is opium. There was opium in Nepal, there was opium in Nepal. And it is an addictive substance. There are markets, people do access it. But it's always a measure of it. Which is worse? If you don't have to regulate it, you don't have to legalize it. It's a very bad argument. Why? Again, there is opium in Nepal. There is opium in Nepal. There is opium in Nepal. It does have health benefits as well. But at the same time, it's all a matter of give and take. Just because it's ill-regulated does not mean that it should be legalized. Or legalized is not legal. You have certain control measures. You have to see what you want to do. You have to see what you want to do. You have to see what you want to do. So it doesn't guarantee like, okay, legalized is not legal. It's not accessible. You have to see what you want to do. At least in the transport or production. You have to see what you want to do. You have to see what you want to do. That is strictly regulated. With me and tell me you won't find Gaza Bato Bato. Gaza Bato Bato, you can also limit the point of view. You can also limit the point of view. That means people are interested in this market. That is talking about how there is so much scope. But the state's responsibility is the market. It's not feasible to access the market. It's not feasible to access the market. It's not feasible to access the market. And that is regulation strong is a very big point. So just because there is no regulation in the market, there is no regulation in the market. There is always going to be people looking for it. Actually, you consume it, but there is no going back. But it's the advantages versus the disadvantages. That's right. It's illegal. It's illegal. It's not 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 illegal. Let's talk about how it's illegal. And that's probably one of the reasons why so many people are interested in it. There is this ask over teenagers' mind. And there is this mindset that like, oh, you're not allowed to sign up, but you're not allowed to sign up. We haven't been able to tell them how dangerous it is. Or that's because we haven't made them no, able no, no. to realize that like, illegal stuff for a reason, right? This must say I refuse to believe it. You know, the heavy drug education, it's always been there. It's awareness, always been there. But has socially... that awareness really taken us anywhere, though? Okay? It needs to be instilled at the social level. Oh, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? ये नहीं हो पानी हमने बूढ़ा पाक आ रहे थे कि बात सारे सब ऐसा लगता नहीं था उनसे regulate गवर्नमेंट से call ली government को चार जान ले government को उन्हें तो government को चार जान ले मात्रा है ना socially stigma जून तो cultural acceptance थे तेले गवर्नमेंट है रिमेनी गाज़ा को लाए गारो बाको जून और को लाए stigmatize गवर्नमेंट का issue बाको के आई ना stigmatize stigmatize लेगा रे just because you can make a choice doesn't mean that you'll make it reasonably. Capacity. Here's where when I bring in my other argument, okay? Allah. The capacity that's going in right now to control this, I know. I'm a prison sir, ma. People who are like doing weed, who are selling weed illegally, you know. Then you're talking about there's resources they are used by that. So, bato bato, why you're checking or buying around stuff for like weed, you know? I don't even think that's like because it's an illegal substance. Yes, yes. And that resources, the amount of people we're deploying into holding this bag, you know, the resources there can be reallocated to other spaces. So, in bato bato, we're checking, buying. So, it's like when you went there, buying go, or you could have got like when you went there. It's not just weed targeted. Gaza body consume when you buy go buy it, they'll have got it. If Nepal, for example, had a cocaine problem, then police would be deployed for looking yeah. for cocaine. Let's go to right. prison systems then. Huh? The amount of okay, people in prison, okay? the resources that goes into keeping them in prison, the resources that goes into sustaining that. If they're in prison, because it's illegal. Bana bujo. Ani ho. Narcotics ma yoda kura. Jun yoda legal aspect bada pani recognize gaunu parsa. To zik yo bana hai. The law it shouldn't be about punishment. Ke bani ko imprisonment is not the answer. It should be rehabilitation, reformation. To thi ro gear dunu parne ho. Just because there are so many people in jail for unse ni gaza rupio or unse ni hashish bana hi rasa. This ko basic ma matra jail ma tha bani ro. You need to decriminalize it. Doesn't make sense. Especially because of how it affects younger people. Tobacco. Yes, bad. Alcohol, bad. The studies have shown that brain development or weed does have a bigger impact on it. That's one of the major reasons why the UN actually proclaimed it as a narcotic, right? To make it illegal is to restrain it. To restrain Gornu Parsa, it's illegal. So I would say that it's better to keep it illegal than to legalize it because people are in jail or because it could possibly, hypothetically, in you know, any world made of roses that it make the economy boom in the very next second that it's legalized. No, it's not supposed to be in the very next second. 
it's not as a legalized gorio bozi bholi the world is rain, rainbows and sunshine hai na it has more benefits than disadvantages ke if our government oily tela control garna sakya chai na try gari racha diye bhai tei try bolu tela legalize gare ra regulate garna gare bhani long term benefits are better more than long term disadvantages realistically if we were to legalize weed it would help so much in the medicine industry so don't give me that look abhinav don't give me that look you know i will you know i will you because would. because Okay. Okay. Let, See, I'll, I'll let you finish your argument. There's so many researches, you know, that's going on right now that talks about the benefits of weed in various various health problems. Migraine scopolaus, arthritis scopolaus, even cancer. There's a research going on that talks that you know weed is really good for you. You know, helping in curing such, you know, controlling it. So like, if Nepal, which has so much abundance of weed, plant it, harvest it, and then medicinalize it. <laughs> त्यस्तो त्यस्तो चाहिँ हुँदैन ल ओके आई गिभ यू फ्यू थिङ्स पहिलो कुरा यु डोन्ट नीड टु कमर्सियलाइज इट टु डु इट एट लिस्ट इन नेपालको केसमा चाहिँ किनभने त्यो एक्जामसन अहिले नै छ दे आर अलरेडी मेकिङ ट्रेडिसनल मेडिसिन्स आउट अफ इट यु डोन्ट रियली नीड टु गो इन टु द्याट है अर्को कुरा भनेको इफ इट इज टु बी लिगलाइज मेडिसिनली लाइक लुक एट व्हाट ह्यापन एट थाइल्यान्ड ओके दे लिगलाइज इट ओके यु ट्रेडिसनल मेडिसिन हो यु हाम्रो ट्रेडिसनल हर्ब हो एन्ड सेनी रिलिजियस रिजन्स व्हाटएवर दे लिगलाइज इट फर दैट स्पेसिफिक रिजन एन्ड नाउ थाइल्यान्ड इज डुइंग सो गुड लुक थाइल्यान्ड इज डुइंग ग्रेट एट हाउ इट इज बीइंग used when i was you to the medical yeah. exemption like your entertainment basis ma log hai na and it bhane ko you don't really need to smoke it or have it accessible in the market to extract the medicine out of it which is already being done in nepal so you don't no, 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 need to listen no, no that's I not, am, that's I not I am, and that's not how, yes, you that's don't need to legalize it for that no, specific purpose no, 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 listen right now we have maybe like a small portion of it you commercialize it you let people grow it 10 times more No, that's not how it works. You can't just say ten times more, Naini. That, that, that's such a childish argument <laughs> to not, me. It's not. It's not. You really can't be like it. you make it commercial and people are going to grow it everywhere. No, people are going to grow it everywhere. And people, people are going to grow it more than they are right now because there'll be more people who have access to it. People already have enough access no, to it. No, I don't think Nepal's hemp market is exploding not. for that specific reason. Yes, okay? and since it's exploding, let's make it. To a higher level, capitalize on this, and it's already being capitalized on. Okay, it is. It is. It is. Such a small scale. It's we not can, on a small on scale. So much more. We couldn't. We could. And people would not. Our I, government would prosper. People, it would not. It's not. It again, it's not a miracle crop. It's not okay, a miracle. it's yes, not a miracle. It, it's not going to happen immediately. But investment over time would. Yield so much results, and that is the same logic that Taliban used for opium. Okay, and that's not an argument that I'm going to accept for weed or legalizing weed because zati unu pani cha, zati cha. See, as I said before, weed is not bad. Weed in the hands of bad people is bad. And so that we apply- don't have Taliban in Nepal. We have know, responsible that, people saying, who will take good no, care no, no. of it. Taliban, yes. Extreme. Yes. Tara, Don't give Tara. me your extreme examples to try and make me sway from my point. I need timro, timro, wala, timro point. point, timro point, sir. But you're giving extreme, sir. No, okay? no, no. They take everything for granted in the sense that you're expecting people to use it reasonably after it is legalized. Yes. And they are not using it responsibly. Oily. Yes. They won't. They, they are won't, not using it responsibly. Oily. So why not let won't. them use it for better in the same steel scope? Law. Responsibility. Yeah, level more also, you know. Illegally doing it and legally doing it. But people who legally do it and they would prosper from it. You're telling Because me illegally. Got it? Black market, my guy. Right? Fucking giving it away to people just like that is more beneficial than people actually commercializing it. Poilu kura, poilu kura. Capitalizing on it would not be possible because Nepal's agriculture, with the way it is formatted, it does not help the farmer at the bottom. But Whatever the government regulation, level. it You're will not. It will their... not. It will. Because because only June rate, my guy. Right? So the only people making the money at the end of the day will so be the. So what you're mate. telling me is because something is bad, let it stay that way rather than no, do no, something no, no. to better I'm it. I'm saying, I'm saying, it's illegal for a reason. And your reasons Better, are not valid they enough. They are valid. They're not They're valid enough. They're extremely valid. They're, See, it's, it's still getting exploited. It's recognized. still getting abused. Huh? It's still getting exploited. It's still getting abused. And legalize it so we can regulate it. There's no blanket solution. It's illegal. Like this. It's illegal. It is under legal purview. It should be regulated further. That's the point that I'm making. No. Just the because it's is, not being properly it regulated. You see, it's regulated further, but no just, one is going to regulate they it. They are, and just because you, you legalize it does not mean people are going to regulate if it. If you legalize it, at least people have some control over what they do with it. They can commercialize on a personal level. It starts it's from not, somewhere. No, it, it it's already there. The state does have the responsibility, and the state and is doing nothing. Just because it's not doing anything regarding it, Gorna the Gorra goes high, na. Really? Tara, I don't see it happening. Come Gorra goes high, na. 
it's not like you should legalize it. Okay, that's illegally doing it versus doing the same thing legally would be much more beneficial. It would not. It How would it? You're telling me these people, they're doing something, they're making a livelihood out of it, and they're getting thrown into jail for it. Which is not just saying I'm a government of resources, but the whole... Let's not even get into the, you know... Jail system in Nepal. That's so bad. It's Dude, that's so a bad. whole different we argument. Yes, but yes, but yes, look at that. These people are doing it. It should be rehabilitated. Getting... Just because no. people are making a livelihood out of it, it the, so the you're bottom line. So you're you're gonna ignore the, the plight line, of poor people the just line. so that some no, 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 no. kids can that's benefit from appeal it. To, that's fallacy because that's no, an appeal to emotion. It is because our country runs on emotions. You're telling me our country doesn't run on emotions. It should not. Exactly, it should not. It is. It, it should is, not. Though. The bottom line is, it's illegal. Yes, there should be like proper regulation. We can change it. If things that were illegal in the past would remain illegal forever, our country wouldn't get anywhere. And it's if time things, for change. And if things were legal in the past, and if you are gonna say, okay, people do have it, it is in practice, and you should allow it, so many things would be legal that shouldn't be legal. See, like that's not a proper argument to make. The bottom line is, it was made illegal for a specific reason. Legal exemptions were and the made for people. Why it was made illegal are now being ignored by a lot of other countries, which are prospering from the very same. Place. They're not actually prospering from it. Okay, they're not. Banikud, yes, you create a market for it. Um, um, Thailand, continue. <laughs> Tourism in Thailand was already booming in the entertainment sector. Yes, but it without helped. without the need for weed. It Bane was a Cole, catalyst. A it wasn't. It catalyst. wasn't a catalyst. Oh, come on, it no, wasn't no. a catalyst. Legal. Show me the stats where after legalizing it, their tourism boomed further. I don't see a big spike in that statistic. Okay, you can't argue that just because they legalized weed, it suddenly shot up or something. It didn't. It, did. it was. Th tourism in Thailand was already a big base for their economy. Yes, and it's a big base in Nepal as well. And we and can capitalize we on weeds to make it better. But we don't have to is my argument. Why not? Why let go of something that's really good for our government, for our people, for literally First the off, economy, the not whole good, world. No, no, no. We could... It's not good for people. It Again, is. not. No, no, no. I'm on the argument that even cigarettes should be banned. Really, I'm not. Be, yes. If I pull out a box right yes, now, yes, I, I wouldn't. Okay, I wouldn't. Addictive substances should not be permitted. Number one, and socially impact lots. Ha, tourism, Banu. Nepal doesn't have to rely on it. Okay, but Nepal could. But Nepal That's doesn't have to. It has enough of a market on its own. It doesn't and need to. And it's not doing anything of that market. It is. It's not. There's a reason why adventure tourism is, is expanding heavily throughout Nepal. Eh? Bungee jumping, the Hilera, something that was extremely limited 10 years ago is becoming more and more exactly. accessible Exactly, that's what now. I mean, It's limited and now, let's get it to a next no. level in the next 10 years. But its impacts. Adventure tourism has a specific niche market. It is legal, it is safe. It, it doesn't... is safe? Is it? Yes, it comes with the thrill of it. Yes. It comes with the thrill of it, okay? Adventure tourism, it's all. Like, what? Do you hear yourself? Yes, do you know I do. How many people die tracking like the Everest base camp every year? And there is where regulation comes in. That's the Nepal thing. Lete... You fail to realize Nepal is not regulating anything at all. Nepal argument Nepal is are two very different arguments. Ke. Listen, it's illegal. People are still doing it. Make it legal, let them do it so that now they can actually earn from and it that's properly. Such, and that's such a bad slippery slope not. argument. Ke. Bani ko, just because it's illegal and people are still doing it, shows that the state is not doing enough. And the state will not do enough. Okay, Timru argument that, okay, Sarkar le gaur ra ko chai na, tese le gaur na dinu barsa is a very wrong, like principally ne wrong ho, ki na banda khedi. If it's illegal, that's the bottom line. People are in jail because they did an Ill illegal act. This could like legal exemptions need. Sorry, if they'd done it in that specific understanding, then it would be allowed. Nepal doesn't need to capitalize on something that's illegal for it to promote something that's already booming. There's enough scope if on its, its own. It's already broom booming. Why are you making it illegal? I'm not talking about weed. I'm talking about tourism. I'm talking about tourism without weed, and that can happen. Nepal. But weed in itself is booming. How? Let's you, get into I, that. It's not. It's not about it, tourism. It's, not. it's about weed. It's not. At the end of the day. It's illegal. It should not be permitted. Principally, you know what, with that logic, with that logic, gay marriage was illegal at some point. And that's a social concern. That's not addictive substance ab substance but abuse I don't issue. Know, I am low key addicted to women. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I mean. Substance abuse issue, like you can't correlate it to a social problem. No, you say that. Let's see, there's so many things that were illegal in the past, which is legal now. And there are so many things that were legal in the past that are illegal now. Like 
Name one thing. Weed. Exactly my point. It was legal, so make it legal again. So was sati. So was human sacrifice. What are you on about? That's such a bad argument. So was opium. So was heroin. Heroin was because prescribed those to things have more disadvantages than advantages. You can't Weed you in Nepal is bringing in so much more good than bad. But that's not true. Yes, heroin was. Are you blind? <laughs> what do you mean that's not true? Do you not see the world? I do see the world and saying that one thing is more safe than another and you should legalize it. It's not, not an argument between weed and something else. It's just weed on the table. Yes, and you shouldn't because no weed is better than weed. But because weed itself is good. How is it good? It's doing good for the people. It's, it's doing not good doing for good for, the for its people. It's not. The contribution that it makes it wouldn't be any different by legalizing it in Nepal it than it is at its present context. It would. It would not. You're not changing my mind. You're not changing my mind either. Okay, we've talked, we've debated. Tara, I've not been convinced. Gaza is not this magical crop that you pointed out to be. It's not the magical crop that people pointed out to be. It's a solution that hasn't been implemented. And that's why people take it as a solve it all for every other thing that we have from our tourism to our economy, for its medical purposes. Tara, the exemptions that we have in Nepal now already address the issue. And we don't need to legalize it to a more broader national level because those benefits that you point out would not be realized. So I, for, the, I for one, am not convinced at all. Gaza is not a magical plant. It is getting addressed. But at the end of the day, if you take off your roast in your glasses and look at the real world, you'll know that our people are doing it and our people like it. And it is, to be very honest, really, really good for our economy, for our people, for tourism, and so much more. So unless you can bring something else to the table, I'm not convinced either. Uh, thank you so much for coming here. I'm clash and convert. So, like, I'm a gift from Rendezvous. Rendezvous is Nepal's biggest theme carnival, uh, a first of its kind, and it's happening at 31st. August at Annapurna Hotel Darbar Mark from 12 p.m. onwards. You can go enjoy with your friends and family. War could say a lineup artist service. So basically, it's a mela kind of for war with the concerts plus good food and any like stalls or some big rounds. So, so you can go like have a great time with your friends and family. Actually, okay. Oh my god, this is interesting. Push because making out in the world. I like it. I like it. Ooh, then we have a deep caramel cake. Ruby? Yeah. Similar to you. Yes, I like that. I like this. I like this so much. Oh my god, you are gonna catch me there, man. I don't know what body. Same. Let's go together. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, we get letters. Ooh, round the blue. What a lounge away. Lounge. Thank you guys right, thank for you coming. Much.